We began this series by stressing two ideas. The idea of human freedom as embodied in Thomas Jefferson's Declaration of Independence. The idea of economic freedom as embodied in Adam Smith's Wealth of Nations. Those two ideas, working together, came to their greatest fruition here in the heartland of America. But the basic character of the society that they created has been changing as a result of the rise of another set of ideas. We have forgotten the basic truth that the founders of this country knew so well, that the greatest threat to human freedom is a concentration of power, whether in the hands of government or anyone else. Throughout the Western world, more and more of us are coming to recognize the dangers of an over-governed society. But it will take more than a recognition of danger. Freedom is not the natural state of mankind. It is a rare and wonderful achievement. It will take an understanding of what freedom is, of where the dangers to freedom come from. It will take the courage to act on that understanding if we are not only to preserve the freedoms that we have, but to realize the full potential of a truly free society.